Steve Johnson, assistant editor of ECT.coop. What we're really looking for at ECT.coop are some of the human interest stories that otherwise don't get the kind of national attention they deserve. Every co-op in this country has some kind of neat little story, whether it's something that's going on in the office or going on with a member. And we see ECT.coop as a forum to bring that to the entire cooperative community and to a national audience to get folks the recognition that we think is appropriate. I'm Harold Holly, one of the staff writers here at ECT.coop. I often write about the weather situations that co-ops encounter trying to keep the lights on for their consumer members. I'm always looking for notes, quotes, and pictures. So if you've got something that your co-op's involved in, whether it's a storm, a blizzard, a hurricane, or even a tornado, make sure you let me know about it. Hi, I'm Michael Kahn, a reporter at ECT.coop, and I cover a couple of areas. First of all, if you're having a problem with copper theft or any kind of crime, our audience loves crime. If it bleeds, it leads here, as they say. So let me know about that. And also, I work with Touchstone Energy, so if your co-op uh, has some kind of activity going on uh, with Touchstone Energy that might be of interest uh, nationwide, please let me know. We have a feature on our website where you can submit a story, you can do it that way, or you can email me directly. Hi, I'm Victoria Rocha, and I'm a staff reporter at ect.coop, and I write about um, co-op news and local initiatives, so um, I'm interested in hearing about your community events or stories that might not get um, covered in your regular paper at home. Okay, and I'm also looking for co-op stories that illustrate a larger trend. For example, if your co-op has a smart grid grant, what you're doing with that. Um, I'm also going to be writing a story about uh, co-op directors using laptops or iPads during um, their board meetings. Hi, I'm Todd Cunningham. I'm a staff writer for ECT.coop. I'm responsible for much of our coverage of federal agencies and industry groups working on issues affecting power supply and delivery. But I'd like to talk to you briefly about another one of my responsibilities, which is the Co-op Voices section. We generally draw these pieces from statewide magazines and other co-op publications that we receive here in Arlington. However, we may well be missing yours. I'd be very pleased to talk to you about some possible co-op voices that you may have and that you would be willing to share with uh, our many readers at ect.coop. Thank you very much, and I look forward to hearing from you. I'm also in charge of um, compiling pictures for the co-op photo op, so they're just standalone pictures. So if you have anything interesting, a couple of weeks ago I ran a picture of someone kissing a pig. That looks great. We're looking for horizontal high resolution shots. These uh, will give us more flexibility in terms of how we use them. Uh, we prefer to have color shots and obviously if they're historic in nature they might be black and white so keep us in mind. The best way to get a story to us other than coming and knocking on my door is simply to email us at contact at ect.coop.